Today we're going to be making some sweet dinner rolls. I have my KitchenAid stand mixer that's fitted with the dough hook attachment. And these are the dry ingredients you'll need. Three cups of all-purpose flour, one-fourth cup of white granulated sugar, and a teaspoon of salt. Moving on to our wet ingredients, you'll need a fourth of a cup of butter, one egg, and half a cup of milk. And this is what we'll need to activate our yeast. You'll need one packet of active dry yeast, a teaspoon of sugar, and we're going to be adding to that a fourth of a cup of warm water. In this bowl we have a fourth of a cup of warm water. It should be no more than 105 degrees, anywhere between 98 degrees and 105 degrees. To this I'm going to add one packet of yeast and a teaspoon of sugar. Now we're going to mix this together, just stir it around. Try to dissolve the sugar and dissolve that yeast. And we're going to let this sit for five minutes to proof. And if your yeast is active, you should start seeing it to seeing it start to bubble and almost double in volume. Okay, that's stirred up pretty well, and we'll just let that sit for five minutes. Now to the butter, we have one fourth cup of butter and half a cup of milk. I'm going to mix the two together and I'm going to put it in the microwave just until the butter is melted. As you can see here we have the hot milk and melted butter and we're just going to let that sit to cool off a little bit while we're waiting for the yeast to activate. And I have the one egg that's slightly beaten. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly add some of this warmed milk and butter mixture to the egg and slowly beat that into the egg. And what we're doing is tempering the egg and that means bringing it to a, a higher temperature so that when I add the egg to the hot milk I'm actually not going to scramble the egg when I mix the two together. So just a little bit at a time I'm going to add some of the hot milk and butter mixture to the egg. should do it. Now I'm going to add the egg to the milk and butter and mix them together. And by tempering the egg, it's going to allow me to mix that with the butter and the milk and I won't have to worry about whether or not the egg is going to be cooking in the hot liquid just get that mixed together. And as you can see, the yeast is starting to, to proof. You can see some of the bubbles forming. That's what you want to see. You know the yeast is active and alive and it's actually feeding on the sugar. And it's only been about two minutes. You want to let that sit for at least five to ten minutes. and our egg, milk, and butter mixture is ready. All we have to do is wait for the yeast. Okay, it's been about five minutes. This is what the yeast looks like. It's just about ready. We're just gonna let that sit there just for a minute while we incorporate all of our dry ingredients together. So into the mixing bowl, I'm going to add almost all of the flour. I'm gonna reserve some of the flour. You can always add flour, but you can't ever take any out. I left behind almost a cup full of flour. I'm going to add the sugar and the salt. I'm going to give that just a little mix. Okay. And since we let the butter and milk 
milk and egg mixture cool, it is not too hot that it will kill the yeast. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add the butter mixture into the yeast. And just stir that all together. And I'm slowly going to add this to the flour mixture. starting to come together and I'm just going to scrape down the sides to make sure all the flour gets in there. As you can see, the mixture is a little bit sticky. You can get this to come up closer. You can see inside. So I am going to add more of the flour. And that looks like it's coming together nicely. And it's pulling away from the sides of the bowl, so I'm going to stop adding flour at this point. I'm going to turn this up higher. And let it continue to move. I'm going to set this on, this is number four for about five minutes. Okay, this has been kneading for about five minutes now, and you can see what it looks like. The dough has stayed uh, pretty much around the dough hook, and it is not sticking to the size of the bowl. And so I'm going to turn it off. And before I take that out of the bowl, I'm going to prepare another bowl. You want to let that rise in another in a clean bowl. So I have another bowl here. I'm just going to spray it with some cooking spray, some butter flavored cooking spray. I'm just going to remove the hook attachment and just pull that off the dough hook. As you can see, because it's been kneading for about five minutes, it's not sticking to my hands. That's what you want to see. And I just take that entire dough bowl out of the bowl. And I'm going to take the cooking spray, spray the bottom, put that right back in, and then spray the top. And then cover it with a piece of plastic wrap. I already had my oven turned on to the warm setting, and now I'm going to turn it off and turn the cooking light on. So my oven is nice and warm, and we're going to set this in there until this dough doubles in size. You can see it's right about at the two cup mark, so it should pre it should rise to almost the top of this bowl when it's done. So I'm going to set it in there and wait for it to rise. Okay, we've taken the dough out of the oven and it's doubled in size. You can see here. Let's 
So what I've done is I've lightly floured my board. I've got a, board, a little cutting board here that I'm going to punch down the dough. I'm just going to take it out and just lightly press it down. It's not literally punching it down. You just want to gently press it out, remove all those air pockets, fold it over, press again. You don't want to overwork your dough. So just press it out, fold, and press again. Okay, now this is actually ready to shape into dinner rolls. I'm going to roll it out into a log. I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut these into small pieces to make sure I have evenly sized balls. I want about 20 dinner rolls. see how much we get. We might have to adjust the sizes of these as we go. Some of these are a little bit bigger. Well, looks like I have about 24, 24 dinner rolls. Now the technique to shaping these into nicely formed pieces of dough, it's a nice clean surface. You just take a ball of dough and you make kind of a cage with your hand. And you just push it around like this. starting to for form a nice smooth ball. There we go. I have melted butter right here. And I'm just going to brush my pan.